Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Scrapbooking Diva and I wanted to show you how I make these beautiful butterflies. Now, I use um, mulberry paper, I think it's pronounced. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. And I created this beautiful um, butterfly that I'm going to show you how I did that. Actually, I made this one too. And I created my little dragonfly. So let's get started. The first thing I did, I a while back I had purchased uh, mulberry paper and it come, comes like this. Mine is in a big pack and they also come smaller ones. So let me take you to my cutter box and show you how I cut this. So right now we're in front of my cutter box. And what we're gonna need, we're gonna need our A plate, our C plate, our mulberry paper, and our butterfly facing down and then we're gonna put the B plate on top now what we're gonna get is a beautiful impression and it's gonna cut out our image and here we have our beautiful butterfly okay so we're right here in my work area so now what we need to do we need to create the body which is this little crystals that I added now the first thing you need you need a wire now this one let me see it says 26 gold permanent color copper wire all right so you need um, about seven inches long I go ahead and measure that make sure that it's about seven oh, this thing gets really really tangled quickly Okay, so this is about seven. Yep. Let me secure it here. So this is about seven and we're gonna cut it. Okay, so now we have a wire. For next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna curl to make the little um, antennas. We're just gonna go around, sort of like that. Not perfect at this, but and that's the first step, right? And that's that little curve right there. Then we're gonna take um, one of our crystals. This one is in the side. Let me see if I can remember what size this was. This was actually the 6mm, okay, in the color peach. So we're going to feed that through. This is going to be our first one. And then we're going to feed the clear ones, and this is the 4mm. And we're going to feed uh, 7 of them. We're going to take 7 of them. And we're going to fight. We have 3. Four, five, six, and seven. Let's do, yeah, we're gonna do seven. Come on. Okay. And once you have your seven, what you're gonna do is, is you kind of, kind of look. You want to leave about an inch of space. That's gonna be the antenna. All right. Then what you want to do is that you want to kind of bend the wire just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit like that. And you're going to take, you're going to let the first one drop and you're going to insert the rest of the wire into the rest of the little um, crystals. And let me, let me kind of show you like this. Okay, and I think this is the hardest part, just feeding it through it. Feeding the little, um, so you see, we're not going to feed that one, but we're going to feed the rest. Okay, so it's not that difficult once the holes are pretty big, so it fits right through, and then you just start bringing them down. Okay, just like that. And this is going to create the body. And we're going to feed them all through. 
even the big one. Okay, okay, perfect. So you see, and now we're gonna pull them up slowly because they will break if you pull them too hard. They're very delicate. So we're gonna close it up a little bit and we're gonna just pull it up slowly like that and you start forming the body. Once you pull it, just gonna straighten it up and you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Okay. Then what I did to secure it, I kind of like went around it and made like a little turn here. Oh, there you go, one broke. See, they're very delicate, so you have to be careful. But I find this to be the easiest way for me to do it. Okay, so now we have big antennas. We're going to cut up to make them a little shorter. Uh, about there and about uh, there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a little bit, make our little antennas. Something like that. And you do the same on the other side. I don't want it to be too sharp. Okay. So you're gonna end up with something like this. Okay. And then what we're going to do, and if you notice, it will fit perfectly in here. Now I have my glue gun right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the center. And we're going to put our butterfly body right in there. Like so. Okay. Now what we could do, my little antenna looks a little bit crazy, bothers me seeing it like that, so let me, yeah, okay, sort of like that. I'll fix it later. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to decorate it so it can look similar to this. And what I use, I use some um, gold stickles and I went all around it. So let me, do, let me show you how I did that. So you add some gold all around the shape of the butterfly. Perfect. And I'm going to connect it right here. And you end up with something like this. You're gonna hold her, and you're gonna do the same on the other side. Let me start from here. Oop, I added too much gold there. Okay. I'm gonna try to add it. I'm trying not to put my head in the on the video. <laughs> All right. So then you go around this side gently. Like that. And you're going to end up with something similar here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Not every butterfly is the same. So we get something like that. And then I'm going to connect a little line from here to the top. Like so. And then I'm going to make a little over here like that and one over here also like so and you do the same thing on the other side let me turn it like this I'm trying not to touch the stickles all right so I'm gonna run a line from here over to here and then from here make a little little curve here and you're gonna end up with a beautiful image that looks similar to this okay then what you can do you can add on some of these I added 
these um, little pearls and I use the setting tool to do it. You can also add some bling, which is what I did with the other one. I just cut up, this is a rhinestones, and just cut them out and then just add it to the area when it's dry. And you're going to end up with something that looks like this when everything is dry. It looks very beautiful. On this one, to give it that shine, I actually use some glossy accents. Spread it all around, wait for it to dry. Then I added some of the rhinestones and I end up with something like this. And it just, the difference is that this one is more shiny than this one. But if you can see, they both look very beautiful. So, you know, just like the same way you could make, you know, Prima flowers, you can also make your own beautiful butterflies. And let me pick up my little guy here, my little dragonfly that is still drying. So as you can see, you can create beautiful butterflies and dragonflies for your cars or your projects. So I hope you like my video and get inspired to try something new. Um, thank you for watching.